What's going on you guys? So we're back here with my car again. Today we're going to be doing some fabulous Ford's prep work on my car. Basically just doing little minor cosmetic mods underneath the hood. Just get it ready for that show coming up. Um, this video is going to be a little weird because I am filming it on different days because I don't necessarily have all the parts right now at once. So if it's jumping back and forth, uh, that's why. Just to explain to you guys what's going on there. So. First things first, first thing we're going to get done, and I want to give a huge shout out to S550 Carbon, and that is their Instagram name. Go ahead and check them out. You can check out their website. They have all their information uh, as far as the website and what they do and what they sell on their Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and plug in all that information down in the description box. But go ahead and hit them up. This is S550 Carbon's fuse box cover. And man, let me tell you guys, the quality in it, like I said, I was a little hesitant, to be completely honest, I was a little hesitant to get this off of them just because I hadn't heard too many friends or talked to too many people that actually had their products. But after receiving it, I'm glad I did go with them. To tell you the truth, it is flawless, guys. It looks just, I mean, it looks amazing. Um, I was going to do a quick install on this, but I mean, the install itself is not hard at all. There's a clip up here. So if this was a stock one. What you would do is you would unclip, lift up, and then there's little tabs on the back. You basically just pop it up open, and that's basically it. And then you come back, latch it, and yeah. And this is the stock one. I did try hydro dipping. You guys don't know that. I was making a video on it, but I failed terribly. So that's why you guys did not see a video. But here's the stock one. Like I said, those are the clips. The clips basically slide in, latch, close latch up here and that's it so once again you guys huge shout out s550 carbon thanks guys i definitely look forward to buying more stuff off of you guys in the future like i said please make sure you guys check these guys out if you're looking for any carbon uh carbon fiber parts for your car i mean their prices honestly guys they can't be beat the quality and price cannot be beat from you know from what i've seen of course you know as far as competitors or whatnot but check them out let them know that i sent you if you got any questions all right Cool. So, moving along you guys for what we're working on today. Today we got the Mishimoto coolant tank reservoir, whatever you want to call it, for the radiator fluid. So we're going to go ahead and get working on that. Get rid of that ugly thing finally. Alright guys, so like always we are following a couple videos that we've seen on this to install. So basically what I'm looking at is removing these two bolts here. That will remove the whole thing itself. This hose here. This hose here. And then on the bottom, there's one more hose. But before we move that, we want to get all this off first. Of course, have a rag just to pick up any small drips or whatnot that you may get out of it. And then we want to lift up the whole tank. There's enough slack in the bottom hose for us to be able to lift that tank, dump the whole, the um, the coolant out of it, and then remove that hose, whatnot, put in the new tank, and uh, yeah, tighten it all back up. And here's the new tank itself. Huge shout out to my boy Matt again for hooking me up or helping me out. Dude helps me out with pretty much all my installs. But uh, yep, you know we had to go with the red. Try and match that Whipple up a little bit. This was my idea from the start, you guys. From the start, I wanted a red Whipple because I knew I would accent it with a bunch of other red components. So uh, yeah, can't wait to see it on. All right, guys. So something we totally forgot is you want to plug those up. As you guys saw, we got shit everywhere. Um, we found it easier. There's a breather right here like a little like a little run through where once the level gets up here it'll start coming out through here so that's what we started messing up on we found it easier to tilt it this way and use this nipple to drain it all out at this point there's still some in there but we got it all off we're gonna get ready to clean up first and then throw the new one on but for now we got to figure out how to position these hoses so we don't pour out what's in the system right now so we'll pick it back up but ugly ass things out all right, you guys, so after thinking about it for a little, we came down to the conclusion that it wouldn't matter if we cut this any shorter just because the nipple of it still goes out to here. So regardless, this side was still going to hit the, the pulley. So what we did is we went ahead and zip-tied it to this bottom hose. Now, instead of zip-tying it to the hose himself and clamping the hose, we went to the metal uh, nipple part of the tank. So getting that bend in it now, and then uh, we'll go ahead and clip the zip-tie. And we'll go ahead and show you that it's not hitting. Put your fingers. All right, go ahead and put it in place. Oh, hold on, lift it up. So as you can see, there's a little tab on the tank itself, and then there's a tab in the car where it lines up right in there. So go ahead. 
So it sits there. Now I'll bring it up. Yeah, sit like that. So that's how it's gonna sit. Pretty close. Actually very close, but it won't hit. Uh, I know I've seen a couple people that run it this way as well, just to avoid it from hitting. But we're gonna make sure that we get up on the tank up this way. So it's uh, sitting slightly forward and it'll stop that from hitting. Cool. So we got everything on basically now. It's just uh, tying it all down. All right, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, we got our level indicator right there. We're just under the max and we do need to use the stock cap for this, guys. So just be aware. And the Mishimoto tank is donezo. You guys can see kind of the look I'm going for here a little more now. Cool, that's it for this. Move on to the next thing. Alright guys, for the next thing, it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, for the show, I want to cover this up just to make it look cleaner underneath the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the lid on it. So I'll just put that back on and that should be pretty simple. We'll move on to the next. Alright guys, so this next mod, I'm expecting all you guys to talk shit to me for. But you know what, it's alright. It's my car and I've always wanted the look of this mod. I've always wanted the look. And obviously the functionality of this mod would be awesome. But... As of right now, I got my new hood. I'm way too scared to take it to a shop and have them drill into a fiberglass hood to give me the real thing. So, go ahead and talk shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go with some fake, that's right, fake hood pins. I'm attaching it right here. It looks like it's the headlight um, bolt or support. So I'm attaching it there and double side sticky tape. Like I said, they are fake, but you know what? I'm way too nervous to see or to have a shop drill into a fiberglass hood and not chip the paint. And then having to deal with them color matching my hood and whatnot. And it's just a big old headache. And to be completely honest, my hood does not shake even at high speeds. I mean, I've taken it up to 140, 150 in Mexico. And... I definitely kept an eye on my hood and I did not see a shake or rattle or move or anything. So, I mean, for the most part, this is just going to be a purely cosmetic look. I do plan on eventually going with the real things, but this is kind of a way for me to look at it and see if I like it. I've always liked this old school look of having the actual pin coming through the hood. So if I do do hood pins, they're not going to be the new push style latch, new school style. It's going to be this style, old school wire, hood pin, clip. So. This will be a good little look at what it may look like in a, when I get it done in the future. So, don't talk too much shit. I know it's fake, but the good thing about this is if I don't like to look for whatever reason, I could pop it right off and no big deal. So, let's go ahead and throw them on. Huh. Can't talk too much shit. They look good. This install, you guys, was pretty damn easy. We kind of eyeballed it, which probably wasn't the best idea. We probably should have used masking tape, measured it all out, and uh, got it on a little bit more even. But it doesn't look that off. I think we got it pretty damn good. So, yeah. Done with that. Alright, you guys. So, for the next one, real easy, real simple. We just got to do it. I am going to take this tint off. Now when I did my car back then, my car was magnetic metallic and black. That was the theme I was going for. Now my theme's changed, or now I should say my theme is what I wanted it to be from the beginning. I got red pinstripes, red brakes, red interior, red under the hood. I got hints of red everywhere, so I just figured these tail lights would look really, really good red. It'll make my red pinstriping and my red theme kind of pop a little more so. Without further ado, first mod, or I should say second mod that I did like within the first week of owning the car is coming off. And I cleaned it up, got some of that sticky stuff off. I'm um, not totally done yet. I'm going to clean it off a little more. And then I am going to have my car polished, clay barred, and detailed before the show. So I'm going to ask the uh, detailer guy to kind of clean those up for me as well and polish those up. So they should look even better once he's done with them. But, yep. My next mod just arrived in the mail right now. It is from a JLT Performance. Uh, it's something, not, it's not big or anything. It's just something quick and easy to install. It shouldn't take me more than five minutes with the uh, prep and cleanup of the spot that it's going into. And it's basically just to make the engine bay look a little cleaner. 
Um, like I said, I'm doing mostly uh, cosmetics under there right now just to make it look a lot nicer for this uh, show coming up. But here it is. It's a JLT master cylinder cover, and it's supposed to replica. It's supposed to like replicate the look of the battery cover on the opposite side. So we'll take this outside and uh, get it on real quick. So the two tabs will hold into there, and then on the back side we got some of this 3M like Velcro style, industrial style padding. I'm not too sure what exactly they are, but it looks like it's the same 3M sticking mechanism that's on my louvers. And it's you know if you guys have been here for since the beginning, you guys know those louvers have been on since what the first week maybe of having the car. So that's been working great over there. So I don't see why it would be an issue up here. These two tabs alone should be enough to hold it, but this is just to keep it from shaking and wobbling or whatnot. So, let's get this on. Alright, so I really don't know how I feel about it. You guys tell me what you think. You see, from this angle it looks good. But then if you sit and you look at it like this, is that going to be appealing? Being able to see that, you know? I don't know, I think they could have done a lot better with this. Um... It's definitely not low pro as I thought it would be. Maybe if they would have cut this whole stopper, because it's like a plastic stopper coming off of the piece. If they would have cut this down and made it go lower to where the part like angles and sits closer to this, I think that would be better. Um, that. So on this side, it sits on the support. So that's fine. But for whatever reason, it still doesn't stick. It just lifts off. This side, the sticky part of it, the double sided part of it, does not stay. So, if I were to leave it on, I would have this gap, which I mean, unless someone sits here and looks at it from this angle and stares at the way I'm showing you guys right now, it won't be too noticeable. From up here, doesn't really look that bad, except it does that. And then that. That's the only thing that I don't really find appealing. Maybe if I could paint that box some, somehow, it would be a little better. But that's the only thing I don't really find appealing. I don't know. JLT, you could have done a lot. You could have done a lot better for this, especially if you're charging what it is that you're charging for it. But I'm gonna leave it on. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Leave it on or take it off. If you look at the overall look of it I mean it looks fine it looks good it makes makes it look a lot cleaner but that is what's annoying me the little white how you could see that that's what that is but let me know what you guys think all right you guys so it's the day of the show and unfortunately this was like super last minute my buddy Tim went ahead and painted them for me so I literally put them on at the show which is uh, pretty easy you just unsnap these hoses on both sides and uh, they clip on snap right on so this will be part of the update video. All right. So that was those valve covers. Now those valve covers, huge shout out to my boy Tim for hooking me up on painting those up for me. They are not done. They went on there the way they looked as I showed you guys. You guys saw them in the clip before this. They went on there like that just for the show. Um, but they're definitely not done yet. My boy Tim, I mean, busted ass on those things. Had them for maybe a day and in a day he got them prepped and painted for me. Um, like I said, they are not done. They are not perfect yet. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off after the show, give them right back to him, and then he will be painting the letters on those black, reshooting the red on the covers themselves, and then clear coating the whole thing just to give it that really nice gloss. 
Unfortunately for the show, we are not going to be able to have the um, the carbon fiber radiator cover on. Uh, Tim, my buddy Tim, has that one too, and he's working on that as well because that has a couple imperfections that I would like to fix before I actually put it on my car. So I'll give you guys an update on that later on once I get it all put together and I'll actually show you guys me throwing it on. But those valve covers themselves, you guys, I really didn't show you an install because they're really easy. You basically just unclip the hoses that are going to the valves, you take them off, and then you literally just clip in. The, the covers themselves just pop into place and then you just reinstall your hoses and that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of uh, my prep for Fab Fords as far as the engine cosmetics. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys there at the show. Peace.